will explore sigma notation in this video and see how change of index or dummy variable works. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to understand a very important concept and that is how do we change index in sigma notation? We will consider two questions. The very first one here is express the sum as summation in which the index variable changes from 6 to 20. We are given the summation as from n equals to 1 to 15 for the expression 3n over n minus 5. So, the question here basically is to change this index and make it from 6 to 20. So, we are already given the lower and the upper bound. We need to find the expression. That is really the question. As you understand, index is also called a dummy variable. So, you could name it with any other variable also. Let us say k equals to, right? You could write any variable i, j, k and this is also called dummy variable, right? So, index variables are also called dummy variables. Well, the second question here is to change the index when the upper bound is infinitely large. So, we have this particular summation where n is from 0 to infinity, 100 into 0 0.85 to the power of n. The question here is, express the sum as summation in which index variable starts at 5, right? So, we want the index variable to start at 5, right? So, what does that mean? That means that we will rewrite this as some dummy variable k which will start at 5. Of course, infinitely large will not change, right? And we have to figure out what this expression is. So, I hope the concept is absolutely clear, right? Now, I would like you to pause the video, answer this question and then check with my suggestions. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on this particular address. As you know, most of my students are doing extremely well. Some are right there on top of their class getting awards and scholarships like Akshay. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student Akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. So, let us begin with the very first question where we want to change the index from n equals to 1 to 15 to something else which I have written as k equals to 6 to 20. So, one thing you notice here is that we are already given the new index, right? So, so we are given the new index. which is from 6 to 20, correct? So, we know that we have to write something in this particular form. So, I am just rewriting this. That is given to you. So, the whole thing is that now we have to write this particular expression. What should this expression be, right? That is all. So, you got half the marks by writing this part. Now, next half for the expression itself. If you see, then what is happening is that going from 15 to 20, we are actually adding 5, right? Same is the case here. So, so what we notice here is that the value of n is 5 less than k, right? So, we can say that n is equal to k minus 5. Then you get the same function, the same expression. So, if I replace n 
with k minus 5, I will get my expression. Do you see that? So, we, let's say we are already given this function f of n, right? So, what we are given here is sigma notation with n equals to 1 to 15 and the expression is f of n, right? It is in terms of n. And now, we want to change that expression, which is 3n over n minus 5 to k. You get the idea. So, it's just kind of change of the dummy variable. Is that clear to you? By substituting n as k minus 5, correct? So, if we do that, then what we can do is we can write 3n over n minus 5 as equal to what? n will be replaced by k minus 5, right? So, 3 times k minus 5 over k minus 5 minus 5. You get the idea. So, we can open this bracket, we get 3k minus 15 over k minus 10, perfect. So, that becomes your new expression and therefore, now you can write this here and so you have 3k minus 15 over k minus 10 as your function. You get the idea, perfect. So, definitely, you will like to verify whether they are same or not. You understand the strategy, I hope, right? So, now, let's check our result. Now, in all these questions, you should at least figure out few terms and compare them. Are they same? That's the whole idea, right? Okay. So, we got 3k minus 15 over k minus 10 as our expression. So, let us now check, right? Check our result. So, we are saying that this is basically equal to what? We have changed n to from 6 to 20, right? And we changed n as k minus 5, right? So, we get 3k minus 15 over k minus 10, correct? So, let us check first few terms. Correct. So, now let us uh, check few terms, right? So, let us say we check term number 1 and term number 2 for both the expressions. So, for the first term, which is the old one which, which we are calling, we have 3 times n is 1 over 1 minus 5 and that gives you 3 over minus 4 as the result, right? So, I can write minus 3 over 4, correct? If I put n as 2 here, I get 3 times 2 over 2 minus 5, perfect? That gives you 6 over minus 3 and that is minus 2, correct? So, we have got first two terms using the old expression. Now, let us do the same using the new expression. So, I am using a different color, 6 green for the second one. So, the first term will be for n equals to, I should write k equals to, right? So, k equals to 6. So, we get 3 times 6 minus 15 over 6 minus 10. And that gives you 18 minus 15 over minus 4 or minus 3 over 4, correct? So, it matches. Do you see that? So, that means the result is perfect, right? Let us do one more. 7 is the next term. So, we have 7 minus, five, uh, 7 minus 10, 21 minus 15 over minus 3. So, that is 6 over minus 3 or minus 2 and that also matches. Perfect. So, likewise, you will find that it is equivalent summation. Is that clear to you? Perfectly same series. So, I hope with this, the concept is clear to you, right? Now, I like you to do the second one on your own. So, here is the second one. 
where the upper bound is infinitely large. So, therefore, the change is only in the starting one. You get, so you are summing an infinite series here in this case, right? Very familiar one, correct? Exponential decay, perfect, right? So, the question here is to express this. Now, clearly, as we said earlier, we are given the lower bound, right? Which starts at 5. So, so, we know that this dummy variable we can change, make it k. So, k is starting at 5 and definitely will go up to infinity. So, we need to now figure out what should be f of k, the expression inside. So, what do you notice here? So, now you can see that as we did in the last time, how is this n related with this k? So, in this expression, the n is 5 less than k, right? As you can see here, n is 5 less than k. So, n is equal to k minus 5. You get the idea. Because then you get the expression, correct? So, so in this particular expression, what am I going to do? I am going to change n to k minus 5. Make sense? So, we will change n to k minus 5 and rewrite the expression. So, we get 100 into 0 0.85 and n will be k minus 5. Correct? So, you can now see that you can check the result. How can you check the result? Just put k is 5, right? Check. So, if k for this is equal to 5, in that case, the term will be 100, 0 0.85 to the power of 5 minus 5, which is 0, right? You see, we get, if I put n equals to 0, I also get the same term there. You get the idea. Exactly same, right? Which is 100, correct? And now, if k equals to 6, then we have the term as 100. 0 0.85, 6 minus 5, right, which is 100 into 0 0.85, correct, so which is equal to 85. You see, exactly same as this particular series, right, so they are exactly same. See how simple it is? This time, I, there was just one place where it was to be changed. So, we have to see what this n is and how is it related with k. So, we figure out that n is 5 less, right? Instead of 5, it should be 0. So, you have to take away 5. You get the idea and you get the exponent, right? And therefore, our final answer will be what? 100 times 0 0.85 to the power of k minus 5. Correct? You can say 5 years hence or after 5 minutes or after 5 hours, that is going to be the situation, right? So, that is how we kind of transform our summation. Is this concept clear to you? Perfect. So, I hope it is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.